185 billion rand has been lost due to the Steinhoff debacle that rocked markets in December 2017. It's said to be one of the biggest corporate scandals South Africa has ever witnessed. Steinhoff's long and elaborate web of deceit included accounting irregularities and fraud. It was also unable to account for certain business decisions. Its stock price tumbled by more than 90 percent at the time. It's a year and a half later, and what exactly has happened? It appears things are moving at a snail's pace. Um, Stanhoff's first instinctive reaction was to simply then say, how do we avoid being drawn into massive litigation? So let us say as little as possible as we can. And that really has been the theme that they've t undertaken since then, to say as little as possible. PricewaterhouseCoopers has also come out with the report of over 3,000 pages which is not being made public. This is apparently one of the reasons why the results have been delayed. It's believed the report is fingering Euster and a small group of former executives for the crash. The nosedive also cost government employees' pension funds 9 billion rand. When the time came for Eurster to answer to Parliament, he seemed to have his answers readily prepared. In terms of the uh, biggest corporate scandal, um, the biggest corporate failure in South Africa, yes. The word scandal is now the writers of sensation, and of course it is saddened about the people that have lost money. But many are asking, why has no one been criminally charged? To simply expect our law enforcement agencies to go in into any corporate entity and say, we're here, there's been an accounting irregularity and we had to follow up on it. It's just not going to happen. We just simply don't have the skills. The Hawk says it's appointing forensic chartered accountants to get to the bottom of the scandal. Steinhoff will release its much-anticipated results on Tuesday. These are expected to show the company has lost another $1.8 billion. Heidi Jokos in Johannesburg.